Hello and welcome back. This time we are looking at uh, Battle Ride, which is uh, described as the spiritual successor to Bloodline Champions for the people who know that game. Um, it is made by um, Stunlock Studios, which is also the makers of uh, Bloodline Champions. I think uh, I think this game has the has the potential to be um, to be the next the next big big thing um, and um, as of now it's the 18th today uh, the NDA has been has been lifted so uh, for us who have the early early access we are now able to make videos on this so uh, you uh, viewers I think you can get in at the uh, 20th September uh, but don't hold me, hold me up to that, Ella. Hold me. How uh, to say that? How do you? Um, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but let's uh, have a look at the game. So uh, so far we have um, we have our heroes here, and uh, they are uh, they are um, in three different uh, categories. We have the melee champions. Those are the guys down here, uh, which has uh, a lot of melee-focused abilities. They, some of them also have something that can be described as range, or some I would just call them gap closers. Like for an example, Shifu, he have uh, he have this no, not the space, the E, the javelin throw, where he can leap towards the enemy or towards a wall. Um, and we also have the range champions, uh, the ones in the middle here. Uh, there's a bit, uh, they are a little, little mixed in this area. There are the range champions and there's the other support champions. For example, uh, Lucy here is a support champion. She, uh, on her left click here, can uh, on her left click here she can throw a potion which heals nearby allies. So. Uh, that's pretty cool, and she also, while being able to support, can do some uh, offensive stuff like uh, Toxic Bolt and uh, other cool stuff. And I have played her, so I have a little bit of experience using her, but I uh, think for the start of this video I'm going to show off uh, this guy, Bako. He is uh, he's a heavy melee guy, pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna play two versus two because I think it is easier to see what's going on in a, in a two versus two game. So we're just joining the matchmaking and uh, waiting for games to come up. Hopefully, I will not uh, suck too bad when uh, trying to show off this game, but we will see. Also, a uh, neat little thing here is uh, hey. at the start of the game. Uh, I mean, before you start the game, there's uh, there's a little thing here where you can try your abilities out if you haven't done that already. Valiant leap, that's a very nice ability. We have my abilities down there. I have all of them unlocked, but I need uh, energy for these two, my ultimate, uh, ultimate, and uh, the lesser one there. So space here, I can uh, make a slam. Very nice. And E is a charge, and Q is a shield which uh, reflects their abilities back to them. So if they are uh, throwing something at me which stuns, then that will stun them. So uh, being uh, being st being strategic when, when using that uh, is important. And we have the normal attack here, and uh, the left click. I mean left click and then right click. Yeah, I think you uh, understand what I mean. So uh, I'm the heavy, and uh, my uh, ally here is uh, is this a damage dealer. We will just uh... there. He moved away from my uh, my space ability. We need to. Uh, Find a way to engage them. Can do that there. Perfect. He uh, getting some good 
damage in, but I'm also taking uh, a lot of damage. So, uh... Need to concentrate. No! Ah. They are very low both. Damn it. And now he's getting pounded. Maybe he can do something with his ultimate. Nice. No. No, oh, okay. That, that was him. I think I thought he got someone with his ultimate, but uh Too bad. I think we can maybe uh pull it back. We will see. Hopefully. But uh, even if they win two, we can still win if we just uh, win three games in a row. So we will see uh, see how this goes. It would um, would be very comforting for us to uh, win the next one here. I'm not sure which one we should focus. Hit that uh, area, and they are in panic, so they can focus. Uh, and there was another barrier. I don't think my uh, ally is playing uh, too well either. No, oh, I didn't get my ability off. Oh well. Another lost game, but we can still do it. I have confidence. What should we choose here? I think this, what did it do? Travel distance increased, yes, very nice. Basically what I look at there, I'm just looking at uh, which ability does it do something to, and if it's an ability I like to use, then I take it. Like I'm very, very bad at using the, using the bulwark, I need to do that because it's kind of like a key ability for this guy. He dashed away, like he's supposed to do. Stupid guy. We got this. The thing in the middle, I think it gives some, some charges to the uh, uh, ultimate thingies. Gonna go back here and heal a little bit. No! Perfect. Ultimate ready. <laughs> gotcha. Yes. That was the ultimate. A very nice charge. I tried being reasonable. I didn't like it. I'm very bad at typing fast, so I'm sorry for the spelling mistake. Free charge, you move faster, increase charges. Okay, just gonna gonna do the charge thing because I'm probably gonna build up charges and then uh, be moving. Need to uh, do this more. Getting getting a bit tense now. Come on. And I'm getting poisoned there. That's a support character. So the question is if we should focus the support or... Uh, got a buff there. And there I'm being interrupted.
Just need to be able to uh, get in the middle of uh, this. Uh, I'm being stunned. Come oh, on, need to get a good charge in there. Got a good throw there. No! Damn the wall! I can't spell right now. I was meant to write uh, fail ulti. Rogue charge can't free. Charge grant shield absorbing. Yes. I want a shield. Okay, we can still do this. Ultimate ready. Oh, okay, so I build up uh, build up my ultimate just from doing that. Final round. We have to win this. Just need to keep getting in between the now they're being very cautious. And I got a stun there because I was greedy and wanted the health. But a good thing is I can just uh, I just put up the shield and then uh, walk up and take the health. Don't think I hit him with that. But now they are scaring me and uh, trying to focus the damage dealer. But my ultimate is ready. Oh no, I'm being panicked. Oh uh, no! I'm being pulled into his ulti! Damn it! You can do it. Come on. He seems to have good control of the middle, so I think he can just. Uh, I think he can just keep going at the. Uh, keep taking the uh, the health thingies and. Uh, Ah, well, he, he was in the altar, that's, that's not very good. Needs to stealth. Needs to do some damage. Die. Yes! Ah, oh, that was tense. That's that. Easy shooting. That was, uh... A bit intense. I don't think I've had a had a game this this intense before. But I really like this character. He's uh, interesting. But uh, I think for the next match here, we should uh, take a look at one of the other characters. No, we should um, These guns make their own. look at. Uh, one of the more damage oriented or we if we, we should um if we should try playing support this um this guy is very interesting he's uh he's a sort of sword fighter who has a frog style um he can do some really interesting things but uh i'm very bad at playing him but i think we will uh we will try shifu I, uh, I somewhat know his, his abilities, so um, 
I can show those off. Um, he can do a spear slash, his normal attack, which builds uh, builds up charges, and uh, those charges he can spend using his impale and do extra damage. Impale is a uh, is a thrust with his spear that does damage in a line, and uh, on his uh, on his space he comes he becomes immaterial, like shifting into another plane and moves faster. Uh, on his Q, he uh, he does a counter attack. Where he, where he just stands still, meditate, and if someone hits him, he teleports, um, teleports behind them and uh, and 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 attack. And I think it also does. Uh, I think it also gives gives an effect. Uh, the javelin. Uh, he can use it to leap towards the enemy and deal damage, or uh, or use it to um, to get away from them, uh, get to a wall. The R, when he have uh, one energy stored up, he can uh, he can do he can do damage in a in a cone in front of him, and incapacitate all enemies in that area. Very nice, uh, very nice uh, debuff there. Um, not really debuff. It's actually a stun. Uh, and well, when his ultimate, very nice, he uh, swings his uh, swings his spear and does damage in a circle around him. Over three seconds, dealing 112 damage. So, uh, very interesting character. I think we should uh, take a look at him. Shift to display X abilities. Not really sure what that means. The X abilities. So, uh, this guy. Oh, and. Uh, hey! New character. So what are we going to do? Think we should. Um, yes, do this. I think it would be nice to uh, to to root them in their in the place when we do this. They won't stand a chance against the way of the spear. Count the girl. Oh, uh, focus the girl, right? Got one. Just need to make sure I don't die. Foolish one. Very close. here fading snare hitting an enemy or ball with javelin introduces cooldown okay let's do that <laughs> not even close baby Good engage. Yes. Yes. No. No! Yeah, 
focusing the girl meant the other guy was just unleashing on me, so uh, maybe I should just hold the other guy while he focused the girl. Maybe. Space, space, first step. Yes. Yes, very good. More damage with Spear Slash when we are uh, invisible. Being an idiot. And of course, can use that shit. No, oh, I'm being an idiot. right about that. Sure, okay, let's let's be able to build up another charge, then we can build up four charges, uh, charge for this and release for that. No! A lapse in time, a glimpse. Oh well. For some reason I thought there was another match, but uh, yeah, I guess that, that was it for this time. So, um, yeah, that was uh, a little look at, uh, at Battle Ride. I think that game is quite alright, huh. pun intended. Um, but yeah. I think I'm um, gonna play this uh, some more when it comes out. I think it will be. I think you will have to pay for it, maybe. I don't know if the early access is also paid for, but there will also be uh, some uh, some transaction things in game. Like I think I can customize this character here, and uh, I have a I have this weapon. Ah, okay. Well, it's the default weapon. Then I have I have the golden war spear here. Very nice little. Uh, I was gonna call it an axe. I'm a bit tired, so I think I should just uh, stop for now. But um, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.